Hi guys, it's Eva and today I'm going to be making Biscoff cupcakes and this flavour Biscoff has been going around a lot lot lately so I thought I'd make it into a cupcake so let's just get into it. In this video I also wanted to add that I'm going to be doing this into separate things because all the things combine into the one cupcake so I'll show you what ingredients you need for each component. So for the buttery biscuit base I am going to be using 100 grams of Whizz Up in a Food Processor Biscoff um, Biscuits, one teaspoon of golden syrup, and also 15 grams of butter. So let's start using. So let's start by making that now. So we have, I've got just got a, like a mini bowl sort of thing. And all we're going to do is add in the biscoff bits. And the golden syrup. And also don't forget the butter. And all we're going to do is just mix that together. Okay, so this is now done. We're just going to leave this to the sides and we're going to get on with the actual mixture now. The ingredients for the cupcake mixture that you'll need are 125 grams of self-raising flour, 125 grams of butter, 100 grams of caster sugar, 25 grams of light brown sugar, or dark brown sugar, it depends how you like it. I'm using light brown sugar for this. And then 1.5 tablespoons of milk, I'm using coconut milk. A quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate soda and two eggs. Let's get into the cupcake mixture. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is grab our self frozen flour and put that for a sieve, as well as our caster sugar. Our light brown sugar or dark brown sugar depends what you're using and our bicarbonate of soda and I'm just going to sieve this in like normal <laughs> you know the deal. in the mixture we're also going to add in the butter the next thing you're going to do is add in the eggs one egg And then we're going to grab our stand mixer and we're just going to mix it like normal, you know. So this mixture is now finished and we're just going to leave it to the side just about here. And this has been going for about like a minute, a minute and a half. So I've grabbed my uh, buttery biscuit base and I've also grabbed a tablespoon. And so we're just going to put about that much into each cupcake case and then we're going to grab something to press it down with i'm just using a little like storage pot for what i use when i show you guys my ingredients so i'm just going to press it down and do all of that to all of them As you can see I have now done the cupcake cases these are going to go into the already preheated oven at 170 degrees like normal and they're gonna go into the oven for 23 minutes okay so the uh, cupcakes have now come out of the oven and for the uh, for the filling we have 100 grams of double cream and one heaped tablespoon of biscoff spray so the first thing we're going to do is grab in a mini bowl and just pour all of the mixture in here so biscoff spread you might need to get a spatula which is what i'm going to do now so i've got my spatula and i'm just going to pour all of that out because sometimes double cream just like has all the excess left in there which you do not want because you want every single little drop a bit in there 
And we also going to add in the heat teaspoon of biscoff spread. I then just grabbed a whisk and we're just going to whisk it up so it's nice and more like thicker. Okay, so the cream spreading is now, filling is now done. So this is gonna go in the fridge while we make the Swiss meringue glass cream. Let's move on to the most important part. The cream is in the fridge, the cupcakes are out on the side. So the ingredients you'll need for the Swiss meringue glass cream are two egg whites, 200 grams of butter, 150 grams of Biscoff spread, and 150 grams of caster sugar. So let's get into the buttercream. Mm. The first thing we're gonna do is fill a saucepan up with water and make sure when you put a bowl in it that the bowl is heat proof and that the bottom of the bowl does not touch the water. That is very, very important. Otherwise this is not gonna work at all. So then first we're gonna have add the egg whites to the bowl as well as the sugar. And we're gonna take this over to the stove and all we're gonna do is just whisk like normal until it, this is well incorporated. Okay, so this has just come off of the heat and we are going to straight away take this paddle mix off of it and we're gonna grab our balloon whisk. So I've just put this on and we are going to put this on under here straight away. Take this off of it, we don't need this anymore. And, we, and we're going to whisk like a normal meringue mixture on the highest speed. Okay, so this has been going, as you can see, this has taken a while because it's meringue, you have to get that meringue texture. So now we're going to bring in our butter. So we have the butter right here and we're just going to put this in chunks at a time while this is on, still spinning. Into this now we are going to add the, the um, peanuts, no not the peanut butter spread, what am I talking about? The Lotus Biscoff spread, so that can go in just like that. This is kind of sticky, so you might need to just scrape the sides down a bit. So that just like that. So I just got that on me, great. So And then we're just going to mix this just for a little bit this time, not for long. Okay, so the buttercream is done now. We're just going to pop it in the fridge while I grab the cupcakes and put all the filling in. Okay, so I've got the cakes here and I've got a piping bag with this little tip on. And so the first thing we're going to do is grab our apple cora and take the middles out of all of these cupcakes. Okay, so I've taken all the middles out of the cupcakes and I'm now going to put all the cream into this piping bag. And we're now just going to put it in all of the middles. Okay, so I've now put all the filling as you can see and I'm just going to put these to the side and wait for the buttercream to freeze for another about 10-20 minutes and I'm just going to have a bit of a clear up and then we're going to start the buttercream piping. Okay, so the buttercream has come out of the fridge and it's actually looking up really nice now. It's a bit thicker than last time. So we're going to fill the piping bag up. I have this, this nozzle on it at the moment. So that, we're going to just fill this up with buttercream and then we're going to start piping our cupcakes. Here are the fidget finished products. They are, they look amazing. I'm very happy with how they turned out. 
as you can see they have some biscoff spread on top as well as a nice biscoff biscuit so thank you for watching this video i really hope you enjoy this if you want to see a lot more like this just click subscribe and like the video also i have an instagram account which is baking.wiz.eva uh, so go follow that out i have loads of other recipes on there including smoothies healthy things as well as a load of gluten three stuff Thank you for watching, see you guys next time, bye!